No, definitely no signs of a bubble. Look, I think what we've seen is a fundamental transformation of the Dubai property market following on from COVID. We've seen a huge influx of people that wanted to come and live in Dubai, in part because of the way that the government have handled the situation. What that's led to is huge price increases, but those price increases have been localized. So in areas like the Palm Jumeirah, for example, we're seeing prices now above the last market peak in 2014. But if you look across the board at something like apartments, apartments still track around 10% below the previous market peak. So we're expected still to see some growth there. I think you're right, though. This growth isn't going to continue at the same pace. So we do expect to see a little bit of a cooling off this year. And we're predicting price growth in around the 12% year on year, which is obviously down uh, from the rest. But that's a lot driven by some specific markets like villas and the luxury end. You know, it's interesting, Andrew, you know, looking at what's been happening here over the last 10 years or so, the conversation that I was having in May at Davos with some property folks was that they were seeing Russians bringing bags of money into this country and they were putting it into real estate. What's your assessment of the spike that we've seen in that high end real estate as a result of Russian money? Well, look, you know, this spike didn't start with, uh, with Russian money. You know, this spike started post uh, the COVID pandemic. You know, last year, well before any crisis in Ukraine, we'd seen massive growth. And uh, Dubai led the way with the Knight Frank Wealth Report, putting it number one in terms of growth. So this is a broader trend that's happening here with ultra high net worth in particular relocating to Dubai because of the fantastic situation that we have. Again, I think there's a real transformation happening here. Dubai has become much more of a family location. People want to live here. And certainly post-pandemic, when people spent, say, two to three months here instead of just coming for a two-week holiday, that's a lot of what's driven that. Of course, as I said, you know, we've really seen that spike into villa communities. Those have gone up the most. Um, and you've seen that globally, again, where people have moved out from smaller apartments to larger uh, properties. You only need to look at something like London and the surrounding areas of Surrey to see the price increases we've had there. So I think that this is definitely part of a broader trend and definitely led by the government's sort of strategy towards attracting people to come and live in Dubai.